Well, I think the, um, the negative image probably has came from long before I was here and probably long before any of my predecessors. Um, when you talk to the people in the community and some of the teachers that have been here forever, that um, what, they, what they tend to believe is that that, that image came about during the 80s and early 90s. Those of us who have had students that attended all the North Rowan area schools and graduated from North Rowan High School have a far more favorable opinion of the school than, than those who do not. And yes, does it affect the students? I'd say yes. Um, a lot of the students have, um, you know, the students work very hard. They're very proud of their school. They, um, I know you've talked to several that they they promote North Rowan in a positive light. And, and most of the time, one little bad apple who gets his name put in the paper or wherever will create more publicity for us than it would for anybody else. And I think that's just how it has accumulated over the years. Um, and it's hard to get that negative image away from the school. That's something we have worked on for the last, for the last three years since I've been here. What, what needs to be done to help North Rowing? I wish I could answer that question. I wish I had a magic wand. I think there are a combination of factors. Um, I think we really need to work hard on improving student academic outcomes. Okay, that's great. That's, that's a worthy goal. How do you do that? And I'm not sure about that. I do know that our superintendency team and the Board of Education is looking hard at ways that we can do that. And with the school being on the governor's watch list, that could be perceived as something negative, but I think it's also a tremendous opportunity for that school to take a look at what's working, what isn't, what do we need to do. The first person I talked to my first day here, and I, it was a parent or somebody who looked at me and said, oh, you're going to that school, why? And this is after I've already signed my contract. So the first thing that's going through my mind is, oh no, you made a mistake. You better get back over there and look up and talk to some people. And, and I did, and I was like, what were they talking about? And, and the more you look at that, the more you start saying, well, it's just an image. Wouldn't the magic wand be redistricting? Well, not necessarily so. Um, and, I, I, and, 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 and having said that, I don't rule out redistricting. Please, please don't misunderstand that, that. That redistricting may be where we need to go. But I think before we do that as a system, that we have to decide what is it we want our, want our schools to look like. Because are we saying that we just need to move more students to North Rowan? Is that what we need to do? Um, do we need to move more of a particular demographic of students to North Rowan? Will that make it better? I, I'm not sure. And I, I think before we undertake, because what we've done in this system, my perception of what has occurred in this system, is that we have redistricted piecemeal. We've moved a few kids here, we've moved a few kids there, but there hasn't been a systematic look at our entire system to look at where, where's the growth, where, where do we have empty space, where do we have overcapacity issues. And once we, I think we need to do that, and then what we need to say is, what do we want our schools to look like? What's an optimal size school? Do we, want, do we want to say um, we don't want any more than 45 to 50 percent free and reduced lunch? Because when you take in that category, you take in other demographic and economic factors there. So, you know, I think that's the challenge that we have to face, and, and we have to do that real seriously. I mean, it can't be just, you know, a fly-by-night, yeah, we're going to take a few kids here, because it may be a temporary solution to getting more students, but I'm not sure that it will be any kind of permanent fix.